Hi guys, it's Katie again. Um, today we are going to talk about treat meals, not cheat meals, because if it's planned, technically it's not a cheat. So first I want to um, introduce myself for those of you who might not know me. Thanks for following me, by the way. Um, so I'm Katie Miller, obviously, I just said that. I am a certified personal trainer. Um, I've been a trainer for several years. I used to work for Lifetime Fitness. I'm now independent. I am also an online coach, and I have been for several years as well. Um, I have my undergrad in exercise science, and I am a national level bikini competitor. Um, so, and I have been a national level bikini competitor for years. I've been top five six different times. So, um, hopefully, I. Um, earn my pro status pretty soon. But today we are going to talk about treat meals. Um, so why are they important? So treat meals are important because when your body senses a deficit, it's gonna drop leptin levels. And you want leptin levels. Leptin levels are your satiated hormone, whereas ghrelin um, is your hunger hormone. So if you're trying to lose weight, you want um, more leptin and you want less ghrelin. Whereas if you're trying to gain weight, you want less leptin and more ghrelin. Um, that is just the simplest, easiest way to describe the two um, hormones. But so when your leptin levels decrease, it kind of slows your metabolism because your body wants to conserve all the energy. So that's why if you kind of, you know, spike your metabolism with a, you know, a good treat meal, it could help you, you know, get over your plateau. Um, now I will say, um, this hasn't really benefited me unless I'm like deep in contest prep. Um, a lot of coaches, so I do want to make a disclaimer. In fitness, everyone has their own approach to fit. Um, there are some facts, you know, the ones that I just stated, but there are some, um, you know, beliefs that could differ between trainer to trainer. And I highly disagree with a lot of big name trainers and coaches, you know, whatnot. But I also strongly agree with some of them as well. So I'm just gonna state my approach um, for treat meals. I don't believe what I just stated to be the only benefit. I, myself, um, over the past six years that I've been competing and um, with my clients, I've seen a lot of success with people giving them treat meals, giving myself treat meals as a kind of a mental sanity. Um, when your diet's pretty restricted, um, you know, you're being really good on your diet, sometimes having that treat meal will help you be even better. I don't know if I can relate it to maybe you went on vacation and you weren't perfect on your diet. Um, it's kind of like that motivation. Um, after, you know, that vacation, you really want to get after it and just like push even harder toward your goals. So having that treat meal, like let's say once a week or once every other week or, you know, whenever you feel like you're um, ready enough for it, um, it really helps your mental sanity and it helps you, you know, go out to eat with friends, you know, enjoy a birthday party with friends and not even have to think about what you're eating. Just enjoy, you know, everything that's going on around with you without double thinking anything. Um, yeah, so I'm, just want to go over a few of my points that I wrote down. Okay, so I had some tips for treat meals that have helped me over the years because I, to be honest, I've had problems with overdoing cheat meals in, um, I said cheat, treat meals in the past. So these are just some tips that I've acquired that have really helped me um, and my clients. So. The first thing, if you're having a problem overdoing treat meals, maybe you should cut it out completely if you, you're not one of those who doesn't need it um, for sanity purpose and then you know boosting your metabolism purposes. Um, if 
you feel like you need that um, for your sanity, I always recommend, okay, I'm gonna give you a calorie range. Um, that still gives you some flexibility with what you're eating instead of giving my clients, you know, like a refeed macros, which um, that's flexible, but you don't have op you don't have as many options as a calorie range. So um, my calorie range will depend on how many calories I'm taking in at the moment. Um, another tip is that I think everyone's different, but I personally don't cut carbs or fat or cut calories before my treat meal. Um, you know, if I'm not very hungry during the day, yeah, maybe I'll cut some calories because I know I'm gonna have the treat meal later, but if I'm hungry, I'm gonna eat all my macros and then I'm gonna stick with him my treat meal caloric range. Um, this is actually an approach that my um, coach told me to do and it's helped a lot. I was never one to cut carbs or fat before a treat meal because that has led to binging in the past. Um, you never, never, never want to go into a treat meal famished. So um, it's just going to cause you to go overboard um, and you know instantly kind of feeling like you did it wrong and a little bit of regret. So another um, tip I have is if you're kinda scared to do a treat meal um, deep into your contest prep um, or even you know in the off season and you're just like you don't wanna mess up your results or you wanna feel like you worked for it, schedule it on a higher, um, a higher day, like higher activity level day is what I'm trying to say. Schedule it on your leg days or um, get some hit in that day. Really kind of like work for your treat meal. Another thing regarding that topic is working for your treat meal. This means like I say you only earned your treat meal unless you were 110% the week. If you know in your mind that you had a few slip ups here and there through the week, I always feel I will either do a smaller, like cleaner treat meal, or I won't even do it. Um, now that's a different story if I need the treat meal, but um, just for sanity purpose, if I wasn't 110% on my diet during the week, I will not have one or I'll do like a 300 or 400 calorie treat meal, which isn't even anything. It definitely should be over that, depending on the amount of calories you're intaking. Um, another thing that I get asked a lot is alcohol. Um, can I have alcohol as my cheat or with my treat? I said it again. <laughs> I'm still trying to convert myself to say all treat meal. So sometimes it slips when I say um, cheat. Anyway, um, when you drink alcohol when your body has alcohol in its system that's your body's main concern is to get this alcohol out of your body so your body cannot burn fat while um, you have alcohol in your system so it's really important to keep alcohol um, intake to a minimum but i will say you know 100 percent honest in the off season i for sure have drinks with my treat meal um I go out with friends, you know, I have a fun night. And even during the, you know, prep, and with my treat meal, I might have a glass or two of wine. Um, but I definitely know that I'm not gonna be burning fat until the um, alcohol leaves my system. So here's one I get all the time is, I think a lot of people tend to do treat days and treat weekends and that's where you're gonna run into a problem it really should be a treat meal the meal starts when you sit down sit down and it ends when you get up um, after that it's it's done and you know it was enjoyed and don't keep tagging things along you know like oh i'm craving chocolate right now in the middle of the day i'm gonna add this to my treat meal for tonight um that can really really spiral out of control because to be honest I have done that before and I have caught myself you know before it became a habit 
and I always say have your treat meal at the last meal of the day so that doesn't happen if you have it for breakfast um, it might be easier to be like oh I'm just gonna add this to my treat meal I'm gonna add this to my treat meal whereas if you have it the last meal of the day you're kind of like working toward it all day and like super excited be really good and then I'm gonna enjoy this awesome meal tonight um, yeah so you really really got to take into consideration what are your goals um, do you need the treat meal physically or do you need it mentally and then um, obviously listen to your coach if you don't have a coach kind of listen to your body um, but I will say I definitely think they're beneficial not just for physically but for you know that mental sanity and that's what's gonna keep you pushing throughout the entire prep so if you guys have any further questions on different topics feel free to comment below and um, subscribe for more bye guys